da wa ume muto kumeisha da wa muto kuna mme kumi juzi tu abo i ai sisi nyumba za kupanga sisi mezidi da sasa mpoga ni abatana sasa na kusumburi yote na abo ifu mme kumi kwa zako tumia kwa skuta tu da baasi tu na abo tu karale tu tu amke kesho Tundere na mambo mengine. Hello there and welcome to the channel today i'll be taking you through my day as a university of Dar es Salaam second year student welcome and let's do this and so the first thing is obviously to get out of our rooms and straight into campus so um, i live about five minutes away from campus so it's a quick walk to campus from which when we get there is straight into studies and so we i have plans of you know studying about four hours a day especially in this time before the exams start so yeah four hours will do for me in a day and straight up the first thing i do is find a room an empty venue where i can start to study so um, i think it is very important to study in the mornings or in the early afternoons because during that time is where you can actually cover a lot of stuff and you can really do something productive so right after, right after there i was kicked out of the venue and well i had to find a kimbueta somewhere along campus and it was nice so i also got a chance to study there as well just for a bit before going to our first class of the day amazing class amazing teacher i can't say anything bad about this lecture this teacher is absolutely amazing now on this particular day i only had this one lecture because some of my classes were actually cancelled but before i got to do anything my computer was not booting up and so i had to fix it myself now one of the best things about studying here in core city is that when your computer breaks down you are almost guaranteed to fix it or at least know what's wrong with it and so yeah i could actually fix it myself luckily it wasn't that much of a scare this has to be one of the most interesting things about core city so basically a large number of students at core city do coding or learn programming basically and so one of the rooms one of the places where you'll find the top of the line programmers on campus is the Udicti room. Unfortunately, there was no one here today. But this gave me the chance to show you about my project. The project itself is actually an e-commerce website for this shop I know. Um, so basically the shop will get to post all their new products for customers to view and actually place an order online and so when a customer clicks the place order button he will get to enter his information his name his last name and his phone number and by clicking the place order now button he'll be asked to confirm if he's actually placing the order then if selects okay thank you for shopping with us continue shopping takes him to the home route if you are feeling a lot more ambitious there are competitions in which you can take part in one of them is like this one where the contestants must have innovative ideas for transforming lives or dare to change judaism and the grand world is a whopping 10 million Tanzanian shillings. I mean, hey, programming takes time though. And before I knew it, the sun was setting. Now, as I was approaching the night, I got the chance to study and also 
watch and catch up some to some YouTube videos for my favorite creators like for example here Mr. Marquez Brownlee MKBHD all the way from US my favorite of all time and so I actually got the chance to study and also spy on my friends on what they were doing like this guy was clearly the rounding movies right here and so it was time finally for me to get back to oh, my room now you get to see man. the nightlife of a Udizim story and it wasn't a day in the life video for me if I didn't show you my nightmare routine and so I had to share that with you so basically it is just simple and as cheap as you can get this guy only a thousand Tanzania shillings is what I used for this night in particular I went to go and get some mboga yeah for a very cheap price of 1000 some cooking oil um, some salt some water some rice some uh, rice cooker is all you need my friends to get a hefty meal at night one which is definitely worth your money than going to buy every time on these restaurants around scenes that they are so expensive and so this is the best way around and I can suggest this to anybody by the way who will be studying at the Udism University in the coming years yep and there we have it as the day ends it's only fair to say that the lives of university students are very 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 different I mean it can range from having busy study weeks to completely free weeks i mean sub students in the days are business owners and uh, some are leaders some are just regular students some play sports during the evenings to even having much more different nights as well some watch movies some play games some go to the nightclubs some have their nights with their partners some even have peaceful sleeps and some just get memorable activities that they'll never be forgotten in a lifetime with friends and family. A day of a Udism student can be of any type, especially living in a big city of Dar es Salaam. All of those mentioned are obviously just a few. People's lives are very different, but everyone is trying to make the most of what he has in this puzzling and important time of our lives. My take would be plan to have a productive day and chase your goals. But above all, however, university is a journey many of us will only be lucky to experience it once. So sometimes, you just have to let go and enjoy the ride. Oh.